On this episode, we talk drop edge beams. Okay, so here we have the deepened drop edge beams. Now, the fall of this properly actually falls from the front corner down this way. So over that side there, we don't have any uh, deep and drop edge beams, but here we actually have to. Now, what I wanna do, I wanna go through a list of things on how the extra is calculated and why there is an actual extra when the uh, drop edge beams are actually uh, calculated. Alex knocked the camera there, so it threw me off a little bit, but we're still going. Okay, so now let's start all the way from the beginning and what we're gonna do here, I'll put a list together of the things that are used to calculate the extra for the drop edge beams. Now the first thing we need to do, we need to actually dig this a little bit different than a standard slab. So we have to actually allow extra for um, the machine higher, time on site as well too. Um, then also things, we've got things like the concrete. So we'll have to have extra steel, we'll have to have extra concrete, and there'll also be extra labor for the concreters to actually form this up. Um, and extra concrete itself. I think I did mention that, but I said it again. Um, also two, bricks. So we'll have extra bricks. Now, as you've seen before, there was only two brick down. Now here, we potentially have five to six extra courses of bricks. So one, two, three, four, five. So extra bricks. So we have to supply extra bricks. We have to, we have to get the bricks laid. We also have to clean the bricks and we also have to get the bricks delivered to site. Now, you can see all these things added up can actually bring, um, you know, it's not quite expensive, but you can actually st start to see how much things extra need to be allowed for when calculating the um, extra when it comes to drop edge beams. Um, now, as you can see, um, it does continue around quite a bit. So it might not just be one spot, you may have one whole side of your house. You may have just the back. Sometimes this may actually go around the whole house. Uh, now the way you find this out is this is when you get the contours or the levels done on your property. Um, so generally you may be getting your tenders done just, they might assume that it's a flat block and then you'll be getting some site testing done. So this is what happens when you get your contours done. We can actually find out the levels of the property and work out where we need to have the drop edge beams. So I hope that list helped you understand how we calculate the extra of the drop edge beams and what actually goes into it. Now it is starting to rain, so before it gets too heavy, we will sign off. Now guys, if you know anyone who's getting extras for drop edge beams or doesn't understand the deep and drop edge beams and how they're calculated, um, tag them in the comments below because it's a very interesting topic for them to understand about what goes into it. All right guys, thanks for joining me on today's episode of Simone TV. Thanks for watching, bye for now.